Hello guys, hope you enjoyed Christmas. This is um, a little video that I'm doing for um, leftover, like um, maybe the day after Boxing Day when you've really got leftovers, because I know Boxing Day is a treat. I quite like mashed potato and cold meats, but that's, one, that's, that's me. Um, I hope you're all stuffed to bits after eating your food. Um, but I've got some leftovers, and I'm gonna show you what to do with your leftovers. I'm gonna make something a little bit kind of, um, a bit funky. I did a bit of research, um, and nine times out of 10, you're a bit fooded out after a few days, but you've got one more day in you, I reckon. So this could be a Boxing Day treat, brunch type thing, or it could be like um, a, um, the day after Boxing Day, when you really got stuff left over and you want, you want to crack on and eat, eat the rest of it up before it goes in the bin, okay? So this recipe is pretty straightforward. This uses, I've got leftover stuffing. So this is um, like a sage and onion stuffing, bit of sausage meat. Um, um, I think there's, there's cranberries running through it. There's a bit of everything running through that. I've got a little bit of turkey left over. So there's a little um, thimble of uh, turkey breast, okay? I've got some roast potatoes, okay? So there are my roast potatoes left over. Oh, as I throw them everywhere. Okay, I've got some mashed potato from yes, bo bo Boxing Day dinner. Um, so I've got some mashed potato. So that's gonna be combined with that. I've got some um, sprouts left over, which I've shredded. So these have all been shredded. Um, mm, love brussels. So they're like little greens, okay? Then I've also got some caramelized onions. Now what I do is with the turkey gravy, I cook down these onions in the turkey gravy to give them a bit of flavour, okay? And they're gonna go into our dish. So what I'm gonna be making today is I'm going to take this humble baguette, which is a day old, needs a bit of life injected into it, right? I'm gonna cut it open. I'm gonna spread it with a bit of Dijon, uh, not Dijon, uh, whole grain mustard. Um, some butter, slices of turkey, all right, all the way in here, um, stuffing, then I've got Gruyere cheese and Red Leicester, that's going to go in as well, a uh, bit of sage, get that going, then I'm going to wrap it with smoked bacon and roast it in the oven, I know, sounds nuts, doesn't it? Then I'm gonna serve it with the leftover gravy from roast dinner, so I've got leftover gravy here. And what I've done with this one, a little trick, if you wanna make KFC gravy, you get chicken gravy from the supermarket or make it yourself and add a little thimble of cream and it makes it really naughty but really tasty, okay? And a bit of black pepper and a little um, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, chicken gravy, a little thimble of cream and you've got yourself a KFC gravy. You didn't hear that from me. So we're gonna have like a, a, a KFC, um, a KFT, Kentucky Fried um, Turkey Gravy, okay? And um, we're gonna split this open, fill it, wrap it in bacon, roast it, and then serve it with my take on bubble and squeak, which involves the potatoes, the Brussels sprouts, and some extra bacon, because you can never have enough bacon, can you? Do you know what I mean? So um, let's get cracking, all right? Um, so first of all, we need to get our bubble and squeak on, all right? So this is all you've got to do. It's the easiest thing in the world. So let me move the, this out of the way, and I'll show you what I do. Um, let's move this so you can see what I'm doing. Pretty easy, this. We need the potatoes out, okay? First of all, take some back bacon, not streaky, all right? and fry that in a pan. Doesn't need any oil in it, just fry it in a pan. Get it going. The whole idea is what you want is you want to create the flavor from the bacon to run through your bubble, all right? And we're gonna put a bit more in. Um, hold on, let me get a knife. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim these up. So the fat stuff is the good stuff. Trim it up, let's get with that knife over there, and cut it into what we call lardons, so little strips, okay? 
So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm cutting into little strips like that, you see? Lovely. Cut them like that. That's perfect, that bacon's nearly done already. Look, doesn't take long, but remember, we're gonna throw this in the oven to get it nice and crispy. So turn it over. You probably won't see me now for, for, for steam. Right, that's it, get it going. Turn it over. Turn it over. Hold on. There you go. Okay, that's that. Then get these bacon bits in it. Let's get those in, let's get it fried up. All right? We're gonna cook all this anyway. I'm gonna cook some later to go with it. Okay, so get the bacon running through it. Just crank it up a little bit. And get it nice and crispy. Okay. And what you wanna do is you wanna get that bacon nice and crispy. What you can see there, like that, see that? Just get it going. Let me, um, I'm gonna crank open the, the second, get it really going. There you go, boom. Right, that's gonna go mad. Right, now, you've got your mashed potato and these potatoes. What you, want to, what, what, what you want to do with these potatoes is in your hands, give them a squidge. Just give them a squidge like that. Break it, as, uh, break it down a little bit. But you want bits. You don't want it to be too perfect, okay? Because you want these little nuggets to get nice and crispy when they go back into the oven, all right? So you have these kind of little bits like that, okay? Perfect. And your bacon, frying up, all right? Let's wipe my fingers. That's it, keep nice and tidy. So what you've got is you've got that lined up there, you've got that lined up there, so you've got your potato ready, and then you're gonna have your greens. Your greens go in a bit later, all right? But we wanna get that going. Get rid of this, Laura, because that's had the more meat on it. Then what you wanna do is you wanna cut up, while that's cooking, you wanna cut up your stuffing. So nice slices of stuffing. If you've got a circular bit, that's fine. If you want to break it up, that's fine. Nice circular bits of stuffing, all right? Like that. So this has got a nice bit of sausage meat and oh, cold stuffing. Mm. Can't beat it, can you? Right? So that's it. Cut that up. Mm-mm-mm. That's good. Right, that might do it because I've got to go into that baguette, but let's see what happens. What I might do is I might just chop these bits up and put them on the side as a garnish to make it look amazing. All right, that's that. Then get your turkey, finely slice that. Now you could do this with beef if you want, fine by me. There you go, nice and thin. You want it to go to the length of your baguette, okay? Okay, so we've sliced our turkey. We have our stuffing, okay? All sliced. Now, I've taken the bacon out of the frying pan. That's nice and crispy, that's all good. We're gonna put it back on, because you can never have too much bacon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry up the rest of it and see how we get on, I think. Um, I mean, we might have too much bacon, actually. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's ditch that. Let's start making this up. So, the, um, we can put this to one side. We're gonna make this first. So first things first, let's make our bubble. So put our potatoes in the frying pan. So we've obviously crushed them all up, good as gold. Let's get rid of the container behind us. Okay, then what we're gonna do is take, start, giving that a shake, all right? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up these bits of bacon to nice pieces, okay? Chop it up a little bit. So give it a good old mash, mash your top. So there you go, like that. This is where it's all gonna get nice. Most important thing here are the juices from the bacon come through into the potato. All right, so there you go, nice. Get that in. Right, next thing. 
but shape it up a little bit. That's it. Put that in. So like, as you can see, just give it a nice mix up. All right. Take some of this potato. Take that out. Put that on there as well. You want to soften it up. Okay. So that goes in there. All of it. Might as well. It's for loads of people. Okay. Okay. It'll soften up in the pan. What you want though is crispy bits. Okay. Like that. Give it a shake up, that's it, beautiful. Now, like I say, keep these back. We don't need them in yet, all right? Next thing you wanna do is actually, do you know what? It is Christmas. We are gonna put some bacon on top. It's gonna be raw, because that's gonna cook on top. It's gonna create some flavor, all right? So that goes on like that, like that. Break it up a little bit. Job's a good one. That's it. And then that is gonna go in the oven, like that. First of all though, let's wipe our hands. And then, have a little bit of butter, okay? Because you want to create some moisture. So that goes in like that, on top. Don't worry about it too much. Take some bits off like that. And then what you're gonna do is leave it in the oven. Right at the bottom, just tickety boo in. All right, because what we need to do is we need to put our baguette in. So let's move our turkey, sliced turkey, and our sliced stuff into one side, and then let's get our baguette working. So first things first, we need to cut it. So what I suggest you do is you cut it at an angle. Don't cut it on the straight part here. Cut it at an angle, okay? All right, cut it at an angle. And then we're going to put it in the oven, all right? So we're going to open it up. That's what we've got. We've got a nice cavity for, you, for your baguette, all right? What you want to do now is take some of the mustard. So we've got whole grain mustard. Nice dollop of whole grain mustard, okay? All the way along the middle. Let's get it in. Let's get it working. Nice. Beautiful. All the way along, okay? There's plenty of flavour going all the way along that as much as you can get in there really, because it is after Christmas. All the way along, like that, all in there. Beautiful, okay? Now, next thing you want to do, get rid of the mustard. Get some of the cheese, let's open that up. Let's get rid of that. Open that up. Put a layer of red Leicester all the way along the bottom. It's gonna melt, remember, because we're gonna cover this. So all you want is a bit of a nice layer of cheese going along the bottom, because we're gonna put two lots of cheese in this. We need to make it as gooey as we can, because it's the way forward, isn't it, really? Okay, now what we've got is that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your layer of turkey all the way along, like that. One, two. Let's get them all the way along. Don't want too much turkey, we might have had enough of it by the end of Christmas. Okay, like that. All the way along, right? So you've got your turkey ready. Remember, we've got to try and get it all nice and squashed in. Okay? Then you're going to put your stuff in. Okay? All the way along, bit of stuffing all the way along, like that. Okay? Get it in. Lovely job. There you go. So it's all good. Now what we've got is we've got that little bit here. And this is where we're gonna put a little bit of Gruyere. Gruyere cheese. Okay? Bit stronger in flavor. Mmm, lovely. It's got like um, a nuttiness to it. It's really good. Right? All the way along the middle like that. Okay? This is gonna be the thing that sticks it all together. So you're gonna have cheese top and bottom. All right? And that is your, your funky roll, all right? Now you lose that, you can serve that around it if you want. So that goes there. Now, we're gonna move that away, because now we're gonna get the bacon onto this board, all right? Um, I did have a roll of grease proof, but I've lost it now. So 
Bear with me while I go and get the grease proof. Just bear with me a second. It's all right, this is all in camera. It's fine. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Wait, it's right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. I have it, let's go. Right. So here we go. Let me put my mic back on as I, as I melt it. As long as you can still hear me. I knew um, um, having the plastic near the stove would be a good idea. Right, here we go. So let's turn that off because we don't need that for the minute. Now we're going to lay our bacon, all right? So nicely laid out like that. All the way around like that. Like that. There is a way to do it, but I ain't got a clue at the moment. I'm, 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 I'm winging it at the moment, folks. You can tell that, can't you? So there you go. Get the bacon all the way along like that. Like that. And then we are going to cover this up. So get the bacon all the way along. And then... So see what I'm doing here? I'm keeping a piece in the middle for the baguette to sit on. And then this stuff is going to concentrate over it at an angle. So it all looks beautiful. All right, so what you do is, as you can see, right, this one goes to the left of center, and the other one goes to the right of center, and you alternate it, okay? That will give you a nice, should give you a nice pattern, we hope. Um, so this is 14 rashers here in this packet, but it might take a bit more, but you know, we'll have a look, shall we? Let's see this bit here. This recording's getting um, interrupted by loads of people walking with backwards and forwards, bless them, because I'm, I'm um, borrowing my old work kitchen. So there's people here. I've come here on the busiest day. There's not been anybody around because of the recent situation. So it's ironic, isn't it? Um, right, okay, let's go. So here we go. Um, another rasher here. Let's see how much we've got space-wise. See, this is the first time I've ever made this. This is quite cool, isn't it? Right, so the baguette. Put that in the centre. Woo! Might be able to get more bacon around that. And then what you're going to do is we're going to get the bacon round like that. And then get that round like that. As tight as we can get it like that. And then what you do is you keep on going over and tucking it in. All right? Like that. Oh, my God. And then move it around like that. You could make it really pretty, but I don't think it needs to be. It just needs to be crispy bacon. Tuck it underneath. That's the way forward. And then bring it in. Even make your baguette nice and tight like that. Like that. So it kind of brings it all in, really. If you can make it a little bit tighter, that's even better. Okay? Whatever bacon we're missing, we'll sort it out. Looks a bit of a shambles at the moment, but we'll we'll work it out. Right, so bring it in. That's it. Lovely. And then this one the same. Bring it over. Tuck it in like that. Bring it over. Tuck it in like that. Beautiful. And just make sure that what you're going to do is you're going to heat it up, but you're also going to make sure this bacon is nice and crispy. All right. See that. Nice and tight, like that. Bring it in. And then I might get some more bacon on this, because you, you can never have enough bacon, can you, really? And then just tuck it underneath so it's got somewhere to sit. Okay? And that's that. Let's do one more. Fill up this gap here. What we need to do, because we don't want the bread to burn, you see. That's what the bacon's there for. It protects it a little bit. There you go, look at that. Boom. Boom. And then we're going to go around the, this part because we need to protect it a little bit. I'm going to put some more bacon around it. This part as well. Let's see if I can get that round like that. There's a hell of a lot of bacon on this. But what we've got to hope to do is we can get it in the oven 
I think we're gonna have a little bit of problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the ends, I think. Take this bit off here, I think. It's just a bit too long and possibly here as well. Um, sorry, my microphone's getting in the way. Right, and then what we're gonna do is probably just put bacon around the edge really, just to protect it. Cause this is a monster. Okay, there you go. That'll protect it there. And then this side, do the same. Get some bacon around the edge and protect it. Okay, and then we are gonna stick it in the oven. And what I'm gonna do is so that we don't have to lift it up again. This is why we have the grease proof. Bring this over. So this is my roasting tray for it to go on. All right, and we're gonna tighten it up a little bit. Bring it over here and put it in the oven like this, okay? Just try and make sure that no bread is showing, all right? Okay? And then we're gonna put this in the oven until the bacon is nice and crispy, all right? So I'm gonna leave it like that in a little bed and then we're gonna roast this up. So catch me later when this comes out of the oven, all right? Um, I'm doing really well today because I ain't got a clue what's going on. It's been such a good laugh, but let's, Pause the video and then we'll see what it looks like when it comes out the oven, all right? I've brought out the pan with the mashed potatoes and the roasted potatoes. And what I've done, have a look at that. So what I've done there, this is caramelized onions have gone in, out of the oven, and I have put the Brussels sprouts in to wilt them down, okay? That's what it looks like. It needs to be a bit of a mess. Now the other thing I've done is I'm gonna chop up Let's have a taste of that actually, while it's in there. Uh, I've got a little spoon. Let's have a little taste. See if I can taste anything. Oh, that's what we're talking about. So, you've got all the bits and pieces in there. It's a bit of a melee at the moment, right? But it's gotta be, it's gotta be like that. Now, what we're gonna put in there now is just, if you wondered if there was enough bacon in it, I'm gonna put bacon bits in the top just to finish it off, all right? Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some sage in it as well. So I'm gonna take some little baby sage leaves, not many, just to tickle, that do us, all right? And that's gonna be shredded and put through the bubble, all right? I've never worked out what the different, what is. What is the bubble and what's the squeak? As far as I can see, it's just, um, I remember, I remember when I used to work in a wine bar years ago, um, a lady taught me how to make bubble and squeak. It was like a three day exercise. Well, I'm trying to speed that up. So she used to, put, she used to intentionally roast potatoes up and then she would mix it all together. So this is, oh, catching a bit there. Right, we're trying to turn it off now. There you go, that's your bubble. Right, so it's a naughty bit of naughtiness okay there you go and we're going to season it up a little bit i'm going to put a bit of seasoning in there it's got bacon in remember so we've got to be careful all right a little bit of sea salt and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave it like that that's ready now so i basically turned it over it should have been little chunky bits bacon's going on top like that okay and then um that bit's too nice right and that's your squeak, bubble and squeak. Let's have a look at what's in here. I think we're ready. Let's, let's get it out. Right, I'm gonna watch this wire because it could be a bit of a mess. I've turned it off. Just hang in there, folks. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down on here so I don't make this messy. Turn it over. That's how you create a clean board. Boom, done. Right, carving knife at the ready. I have got my other apron. This is ready to go. I'm going to, I've got some stuffing in there. Now just watch, I've just been careful with this wire because earlier I melted it. Did really well earlier. So I'm gonna bring this out because that is ready folks look at that boom and 
we've got some warm, hot bits and pieces as well. So let's bring this over. Okay, so the other thing I did as well is I, I'm gonna put some of this down as a bit of an added extra. So there's some turkey right there. We're gonna put some stuff in down the side as well. All right, so stuffing's going here like that. Okay, that's going that side. So you've got a bit of stuffing as well. Okay, oh, mm mm mm. While that's there, I'm gonna take the bubble and put that back on the oven to keep that warm. All right, turn that down. Turn that down just to keep it warm, all right? Because what we need to do is, whilst I burn stuff, ouch, that's going over there. Anybody will think this is organized chaos, folks. Well, do you know what? It is. So I'm gonna put that on there, actually, because we need that on. Right, now, we've got that there. I'm gonna heat up my gravy into the pan, all right? Let's give that a little wipe out. Wipeout! Let's get some paper, wipe it out, because we've got to take the oil out, you see. See, I've got close to the camera all of a sudden. It's great in here, isn't it? So there you go, look. Put the pan down like that. Let's pour the gravy in there and heat that up, okay? I've got a little dish to put that in, okay? So that goes there. So we're going to put bubble and squeak, and then we're going to put the, the, um, the doodah, the Ujima flip and the what's his name in there. So I'm gonna put probably like that and put it all the way down the middle and then put some gravy and the bubble and squeak all the way around it. So let's go for it. Let's go around here. Wire, wire, woo! Let's do it. Woo! Right, now we've got to get this bad boy out of this. So I might leave it in the wrapper like that so you can see what's going down. And we're gonna cut it and have a look, see what it's like inside, all right? So, let's have a look. Oh my God, that's what we're talking about, folks. Look at that. Woo! Melted cheese. Is it melted inside? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. So there you go. That's your naughtiness right now. So, I'm tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to shift this off here, and I'm going to. I think what I'm going to do is it's all done. Gravy's gravying. I've got the bubble and squeak about to go in there, but I'm going to take this off here because I want to drain it a little bit like that. I don't want it sitting in the juices, so I'm going to take it off. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put it directly down because I just think. What's gonna happen is I think the um, bacon is gonna make everything soggy. So I'm gonna lift it up like that. Come on, oh, beautiful, there you go. That's more like it, all right? And we are gonna cut them into funky little rolls like that, all right? And we are gonna try these out because they look groovy, all right? And there you have it, folks. A little Christmas nugget of nuggetness. Let's have a look in the center. Oh my God, stuffing, turkey, cheese. Look how hot this is. All right, so that's your dipping gravy, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna put our bubble and squeak there. So let's grab that, because that's groovy. Look at that, that's what we're talking about. Let's have a taste. Do you know what I mean? That's what we're, this is what it's all about. And that is gonna get put on here. So, thanks a lot for watching. This has been uh, DB on um, Bonkers, cooking you an incredible Boxing Day brunch or lunch, whatever, you, whatever takes your fancy, all right? And that is what we say in the trade as a winner winner chicken dinner all right
come back to me when I finish this lot, all right? I'll take a picture of it. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, as always, bonkers, a bit chaotic. Um, and yes, I have lost my clicker again. I'm doing really well today. Um, check out the recipe online um, and have a go and enjoy it, all right? So have a go. I'll put the recipe and the um, method below, all right? Thanks a lot for watching. Take it easy, all right? Now that is a winner. Boom!